but I'm not strong. Not like you. Forgive me. Mother. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of One Life, One Death. So last night, I went to Helgen Keep in the pursuit of the Craftsman Manual so I can start making blood elixirs. Unfortunately, while heading deeper into Helgen, my game did crash, and in my haste to return back to where I crashed at, I forgot to pick up the manual. So in my own time, I did end up picking it up, as you can see right there. And now I just need to start putting some points into, or some perks into my smithing proper. So there you go. Now we can technically start creating some blood elixirs or blood conserving files, I should say. Uh, and then while we're here, what else should we go for? Um, I would like to go into alchemy some more. That's okay. I think that will be very useful, especially the poisons. I think poisons for uh, a vampire would uh, do wonders. We have one more perk left. I think if I can, I'd like to put into heavy armor. I think that will help. You can sprint heavy armor at no... Uh, da, 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 da. Sprinting at a full set allows you to deflect all incoming... Oh, that sounds not too shabby. No stamina penalty. That's actually quite reasonable. That would be very good if I'm ever at stage 4 Painful Thirst and I'm trying to get away from somebody and there's not going to be much of a stamina penalty beyond, you know, just the regular sprinting penalty, I would assume. And heavy armor power attacks require less stamina, okay. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, a lot of goodies here. A lot of goodies. Alright, so we are at level 5 now. So tonight... What we're going to be doing is being uh, being in the pursuit of blood. I didn't really say that right. What we're going to do is going to be in the pursuit of more blood because we are at overwhelming thirst. We should probably be at painful thirst any moment now, I would think. And I think there is a bandit camp. Just slightly, ever so slightly south east let's bring up the map here southeast of white run kind of in this general direction and that's kind of where i want to go for tonight that will be the plan get some easy blood and then uh head on to the next step of this character so i do suspect however there isn't going to be much combat between here and there i will be avoiding the guards i'll be in this direction so what i'm going to be doing because of that i'll be cutting the footage and when we get back we'll be in front of the bandit camp proper so i'll see you in a bit all righty ladies and gentlemen so here we are right outside of the bandit camp that i was talking about earlier now what i don't like about this area it's really hard to get a good read on like what the enemies are so i might need to crouch my way or uh, i don't know here <laughs> It just doesn't really work in my favor. I could maybe make my approach on the left side. I think that might be the play. Because if I come up this direction, I'm kind of just walking right into their traps. If they were to have traps, I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I do think making my approach from the left down might work nicely. I can just find a place to like jump at. Uh, this looks pretty good. Yep, there we go. Yeah, up here now. Come on. Okay, no, maybe. And then up here. Okay. Oh, just a little. Come on. Okay, maybe I can't go up here. Maybe I'll go left then. There we go. That was better. Now just slide up here, slide on up there, there we go, slide on up here. Alright, so now we're making headway here. This is a proper vantage point just to see what I'm dealing with. Okay. In fact, 
fact, I will take out my Orcish Heavy bow for this. Might even put the po Spider Poison on there. I'm sliding. We'll see. We'll see about that Spider Poison. It's pretty strong. Spider Venom. It paralyzes the target for 2 seconds and does 2 points of damage to health and stamina for 60 seconds. So that's 120 damage total. It's a pretty strong poison. Highly recommend. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to just wait for him. Pop back out. There we go. That was good. That's pretty much what I was looking for there. Anybody there? Okay, so this guy's gonna pop out. I can guarantee it. Ha, found you. Oh, I missed somehow. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Okay, he's just standing there in the bush, it looks like. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Avoid any damage coming towards me. Where is he? Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Alright, so that works. I really do like the closer look. Probably the, uh, <laughs> one of the more stronger mods added to Ultimate Skyrim because it's basically like a sniper zoom button, isn't it? Anyways, let's see what we've got here. I'll take those arrows. Thank you. I will take that blood. Thank you. Very nice. Very kind of you. Uh, should I take that blood or leave it? Should I even take this stuff? I will keep that blood here. And the reason why is just as a fallback position. Because if I do... I do get sort of uh, overwhelmed here. At least I can fall back to this blood out here. Oh, there's a saber cat out there too. Let's see. Where's my powers at? Okay, so I do have Vampiric Seduction and Servant. So I think that will help out immensely. I thought they did go away after... Maybe it's only at stage one. Interesting. Not sure why they're sticking around. Alright, well... I'll use them to my advantage. Just have a look, see what else we got going on here. Should I take these pots for smelting? If I ever do find a smelter. Uh, you know, it's actually interesting. I've been thinking that maybe I should forego smithing. And just head into maybe the honed metal mod. So if you don't know what that is, you can tell the blacksmith to craft items for you that you otherwise wouldn't be able to craft yourself as long as you give them materials. So technically, you could get ebony armor at a pretty low level, in theory, assuming you had the materials to give, say, uh, Yorland Greymane. And that would help out too. Okay, I'll... You know what? I'm gonna take this bear trap. Because I think that would be very good as a fallback trap. Put that right there. Yeah, that'll work nicely. Actually, because of that, I think I will throw the body down further. Maybe even put it right here. Because I don't think they're really smart enough to jump off this ledge the ai at least they'll have to go all the way around or do some weirdness yeah i think this is a good place to put the blood just in case just in case and then if they do come down we do have the bear trap there okay so that works i think that works quite nicely i think we're ready i think we're ready to head in deeper here We do have. Oh. Who's there? Rodolph? That you? Sure is. The boss was looking for you. Said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Okay. Well, I want to have a look at what 
these can give me right here. Damage health, imp stool. Okay. That's good. So I'll keep an uh, eye out on that. Hmm. So we hear a bunch of voices. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, I need to think now. Um, I'm thinking I could kill him. Okay, that way I have blood. And furthermore, I do have Vampiric Servant here, which means I will be able to revive him as an undead servant, and that will help alleviate a lot of pressure coming down my way. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Grab him. Okay, yeah. Come, come, come to me. Come to me. Get, get. Come to me. Okay, get in there. Very good. Yes. Oh. Okay, good, good. Move in, move in, charge in. Oh god, this could be it. No, no. Like I was saying, the blood. Get to the blood. Oh god. Oh god, that didn't work out well at all. And he's got a bolt. Eh. Okay, they're smart. They're smart. But I did get the blood, so I'm running away. I just having like three of them just suddenly right on you. It's just like, just so bad. You can't have that ever. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm not gonna stick around here. Get in the horse. Just to have everybody relax a bit. Don't worry about me. Okay, there's. I'm gonna get him. Okay. There we go. Oh god, there's like three of them. I need to go right now. Yep. I probably would have died if I didn't take that blood. Good thing I planned it out. Good. Doing damage there. Okay, yeah. One more should do it. Be able to get the blood then. There we go. Yeah, he's got white quite the armor on him. I kind of wish heavy armor would absorb a little bit more damage. It kind of seems like it doesn't do a lot, but that may be just me. Anyways. Yeah, so the guy with the bolt. Oh. Get the... Okay, I'm just knocking him around. There we go. For some reason, I couldn't get my weapon out. Oh. Okay, okay. Over here. I feel like he's got a bow and arrow, but I can't really be too sure. I need to really see. I can't really see what where he is. He might be in the bush. Okay, he does have a bow and arrow. Okay, I'm gonna just charge him. Oh, ah. oh did he get his friend? I think he did. I think he shot his friend. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Okay, so that worked out. I would 
I think, yes. I'm gonna take the blood from you. Take the steel. Unfortunately, I did destroy his crossbow. Uh, if it was a heavy one, I'd be quite happy with that. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Okay, I did get the blood from you. Did I get the blood from you? Nope. Okay, apparently, uh, no blood from him. Or unless I already looted it. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It must have been this guy. Yeah, okay, there's the blood. That's what I'm looking for. Take that. Thank you. Very nice. Take that leather. That should heal me up to full. Or close to it. And unfortunately, Midnight has taken some damage. Not sure how I can heal him. Hmm. I'm wondering if... No. I mean, restoration does not work for yourself as an undead, but I could use healing hands. I'm wondering if that will work. Just to heal Midnight. That could be... Something I pursue next time. Just to get rank 1 of... Uh, da, 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 where are we here? Restoration. Just for healing hands. That way... Midnight can automatically regenerate his HP. Or I guess her. Would she be her? She'd be her. Her HP. I won't have to worry so much about her. Okay. So... Back in we go. It is 1 p.m. It's a little bit unfortunate that that battle happened the way it did. I was hoping my undead servant would last a little bit longer. But uh, it just wasn't in the cards. Mm. They did use the bear trap though, so that did work out. Uh, took the blood from you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so, unfortunately, now it means it's, uh, just me. Did I... We did take out a few guys here, though. So it wasn't for naught, I think, one, two guys. Or actually just one guy, it looked like, <laughs> before my uh, undead servant went down. I will keep the blood there. Let's bring him out into the open to bit more. Yeah. Take out stuff. Oh, hopefully I can make, oops, make some stuff out of it. Nope. There are some goodies in here, I've noticed. Just a bit. Oh. Damn it. Do I need to retreat again? It might be retreat time. Unless I can... I think he might have a... Bolt. He does. Yep, he does. Okay, so I can't really pursue him. He's gonna snipe me. Unless I get my bow. Out. I thought I had you. Okay. Okay, there we go. Lur. Lur. Just stand there, guy. There we go. Okay, so he did have a heavy crossbow. I'm hoping he did. I'll have a look. I think it fell down here. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Okay, so an iron heavy. I will take that. I'll keep the blood once again. Uh, tomato soup. Let me see. Will that buff me at all? Let's have a look. Okay, it look, looks like it's kind of buffing me. I think it's just a hearty meal, though. 
yeah, it's just hearty meal. So when you're undead, or just a vampire, I should say, the the most you can get out of stews is just a hearty meal. That's about it. There are some other stews, stews that will work, though. Um, the Dragon Heart stool will give you a fire resist buff, but most buffs from stew, stews will not work, unfortunately. Just bear that in mind. Okay, so there is this ale here. So that'll be good for when I... Uh, finally... Ooh, let's check this out. Take that. For when I do... Oh, there's an alchemy station here. Alright, so I'll bear that in mind. Okay, I will take that. What was I talking about earlier? Uh, something about stews? Yeah, basically stews do not work for vampires, for the most part. Okay, so there is a wolf here that I'm pretty sure is supposed to be... Okay, come on. Come on, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. The wolf is supposed to be in the cage, so that's a, a glitch if I ever saw one. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Bleeding Harvest Crown. Let's have a little peek at that. Weakness to fire, weakness to poison. Okay, that may not be so bad. I can get a weakness to poison and a damage. That would work. Sort of a damage poison and a weakness to poison. That should make it that much more efficient. The poison, I mean. So we'll pick these up. Because that will help. Weakness to fire, weakness to frost, fortify armor rating, fire, ooh, two-handed expertise, and stamina regeneration, that's not bad, pick that up, that's uh, quite a good haul here, as far as mushrooms are concerned, alright, so I am coming up to the leader of the bandits now, um, how am I going to do this, set up our guy here. Do this. Set up the crude for the orcish bow. Because that would make sense to me. Should I do steel battle axe as well? I might. I might do that. I think I will do that. If I had my undead ally, I probably wouldn't do this, but I think this is the best way to survive this fight because I think he is going to be pretty high level, like level 20 or so, and I'm at level 4. I need to think, how can I do this? I also got the fortify armor that will last me for one minute. Okay, I'm going to have the bow out. Then what I'm going to do... Is this an orcish bow? It doesn't look very orky. It is. Orcish heavy bow. Doesn't... That doesn't look orky at all. <laughs> okay, fair enough. for 60 seconds. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, rush in. There we go. Okay, I thought that would be a little bit more of a struggle, but evidently not. But hey, it worked out. No harm, no foul, no fuss, no muss, as it were. 
And we do have a Fortify Stamina Remarkable. There you go. Let's check him out now. Got some good blood. Ooh, we got an Elven Warhammer. Is that better than what I've got? Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, way better. Like a thousand times better. So I will grab that for sure. An Emerald. Okay. Ooh, an Iron Gauntlets. Nice. Don't really want any of this, though. This is probably the greatest thing he's got for him right now. I will take that. And I do think... Heavy... Sorry. Oh, he's quite stiff, isn't he? Quite stiff and stiffened right now. <laughs> Could almost stand him up. Hello. That's interesting. Anyways, so I do think these Warhammers are better versus heavy armored guys, guys, whereas the two-handed weapons, ooh, wow, that's pretty good. Not that I lockpick anything, but that's pretty good to have. Whereas, like, the two-handed swords are more efficient versus undead, and I think the axes are somewhere in between a hammer and uh, a sword. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this area. Do we have enough I'm left I don't really think we do so ladies and gentlemen I think I will call this episode here the mission to get blood and get to stage one has been you know successful so I'd like to thank you all for watching this video if you like to see videos like these and want to see other videos like them be sure to like and subscribe if not I understand I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.